And a reminder, go to foxnews.com slash debate to see how well the candidates are answering the questions with your votes. Keep it here. And we are in studio ready to talk it all out. But first, let's go to our correspondent, John Roberts, who is monitoring Twitter. And John, I don't know if your Twitter page is like mine. Mine is on fire. What have they, what's kind of been the consensus for the first hour of the debate? This is really interesting, Harris, to look at because we've been looking at all the candidates. We're going to drill down on three. First of all, let us tell our folks who are watching us on the Internet tonight that Ron Paul has been above the line for the entire night. People believe that Ron Paul is giving good answers to all the questions he has asked. But let's take a look at this because this is very interesting. We've got the green line here for Newt Gingrich, a white line for Rick Santorum, and an orange line for Mitt Romney. Look at this. Mitt Romney has spent literally the entire debate below the line. Santorum has been right about in the middle, and Gingrich has been sort of back and forth, down a little bit, and then up as well, which, which is to indicate that Santorum, most people believe that he's probably split between answering and not and dodging the questions. Gingrich has been getting a lot of answers and a couple of dodges, but Romney is perceived as dodging more than anybody. Let's John Roberts, I think, is ready, right? Let's go to him. So, John, yes. you caused a fury in my world. I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> you left off Ron Paul, and people are waiting outside, and they're taking my donuts away. I, Harris, Harris, I did not leave out Ron Paul. They didn't if hear you. Recall, you. Say it loud and, and, and clear. And, and Newt Gingrich is over here watching me because I'm speaking like him. If you recall, Harris, when I started my first hit, <laughs> the first thing out of my mouth was, I said, Ron Paul spent the entire night above the line. So there wasn't a lot of news in the fact that he was going back and forth across the line. But now here is the aggregate of all of the candidates across the entire two hours of the debate here is voted on by people on Twitter whether or not they green, answer the question, or red, dodge the question. Here's Ron Paul. Over the course of the entire debate tonight, he was seen as mostly answering the questions rather than dodging them. Let's look across the board as well. Newt Gingrich got very good points from the audience tonight, answering more than he dodged the question. Take a look at this, though. Mitt Romney was seen through most of the debate, most of the questions he answered as dodging. In fact, he barely got above the line into the green on most topics. One time that he did was when he was talking about Osama bin Laden and national security. Rick Santorum didn't do himself any harm, which was important for him in this, in, in this debate, as he tries to go into the polls, getting up ahead of steam. He was pretty much above the line as much as he was below the line. Rick Perry did fairly well in the debate, being above the line more than he was below the line. Let's break it down into different topics. First of all, the economy, and have a look at that. Newt Gingrich got good marks on his answers for the economy. Again, Mitt Romney just seems to be dodging every question in the eyes of people who are tweeting in. Rick Santorum above the line on the economy, the same with Rick Perry. Ron Paul way above the line. Ron Paul always tends to do well in these Twitter surveys. They are not scientific. They are people voting for their favorite candidate. Sometimes and other times they are a good measure of uh, what's being said. Let's move it ahead now to foreign policy and take a look here. Newt Gingrich did very, very well on foreign policy. Mitt Romney not as far below the line as it was in some of the other topics. Rick Santorum, Rick Perry, and Ron Paul also all did well on okay. foreign policy. Let, Tell us to get another... Go John, ahead. John, can I stop you right, by, right there? Because, I, I mean, I'm yeah. getting real-time feedback. Ron Paul didn't just do well. He did the best from that chart. <laughs> no, I, I just want to be not, fair. I want to point it out because people are watching for it. He did very, very well tonight. And, I mean, his bars are bigger than everyone else's, so we report... You decide. Okay. Let's take a look at race. New Gingrich did well in that. Romney again, seen as ducking the questions. Rick Santorum did fairly well. Rick Perry, all right. And again, Ron Paul with a big bar there. Now let's take a look at Romney's record and see how they did. Newt Gingrich did not do well on this one. This was the first question out of the box when he was asked about the attacks on Romney vis-a-vis -vis Bain Capital. Romney didn't do well on his own record. Santorum just about in the middle. Perry as well, seen as dodging questions about Romney's record. And there he is. Ron Paul with the big stack of good answer, Ron. Let's drill down on the candidates themselves. First of all, Mitt Romney, how he did. Look at this on the record, well below the line into the dodge on literally every topic with the exception of foreign policy because he did do fairly well on the foreign policy questions. Newt Gingrich now, bring him up and let's take a look at how he did. On Romney's record, a little more dodge than answer, but on all the other topics, economy, race, foreign policy, social issues, he did very well. All right, let's bring up the next candidate, Rick Santorum. 
Social issues was the only time that he seemed to bomb, as well as Romney's record. Everything else, he seemed to be more in the green than he was in the red, although a little middling performance here on race. Ron Paul, let's bring him up for that delineation. Romney's record, the economy, race, foreign policy, he slipped just a little bit here, as well as social issues, but still much more solidly in the answer category than he was in the Dodge category. And take a look at this. It was a good night for Rick Perry. Most people thought that he did fairly well. Race, he was kind of middling on. Romney's record, he took a little bit of a dive bomb. But everything else, economy, foreign policy, and social issues, he did very well. And just for the Ron Paul fans at home, let's bring up the aggregate one more time. And there he is, Ron Paul. He's got the biggest stack of green of any of the candidates. You make up your mind about what happened. Those are the raw numbers. Harris? You know, I, I think my panelists may agree with this, and I'm certainly seeing evidence of this on the live chat. We report, our viewers decide, his base, Ron Paul, his base is passionate, and they are all online tonight. I mean, they, you could make an argument they, they for... They are passionate. Yeah, they are passionate. They're all online. They all use Twitter very well, and they support their candidate. They really support their candidate, and that's obvious by the results tonight, Harris. Well,